Welcome to What's What. Inside the world's richest family, the Waltons. The Walton family owns business collectively worth $152 billion, which is enough to feed half of the world's population, and more than what's owned by Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. In fact, Waltons are worth a whopping $53 billion more than the world's second richest family, the Koch family. With a single Walmart store to 11,753 stores in 28 countries worldwide. This is a journey they covered in just a span of 50 years. The Waltons, created by Earl Hamner Jr., based on his book Spencer's Mountain, was such a big success that the CBS television network ordered one season of episodes, which subsequently aired on CBS for nine more seasons due to its popularity. The Waltons won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series, Peabody Award for its first season, and according to TV Guide Ranking, The Waltons is number 34 on its list of the 60 best series of all time. The curiosity regarding Walton Wealth Management and Summer Houses was so much that the TV series The Waltons, based on their life, became a big hit for 10 years. Samuel Moore Walton and his brother James Lawrence Walton, alias Bud, started their own store, and the company grew rapidly under them. By 1977, that is just in 15 years, Walmart gained worldwide popularity with 190 stores. After their death, the family took over operations, inheriting billions. Together, they are richer than 42% of the Americans. According to a report, the Walton family invests a lot of their immense fortune in charities, largely through the Walton Family Foundation. The Jackie O Trust theoretically saves them so much tax, leaving them richer than if it hasn't given a dime. Looks like the Waltons have found their way to find tax loopholes so that their coffers keeps to overflow. The Walton family held five spots in the top 10 richest people in the United States until 2005. Samuel has four children. Amongst all, Alice Walton seems most interesting. Daughter of Samuel Walton has a fortune worth $48.1 billion, making her the wealthiest woman and also the 16th richest person in the world. She holds half of the company's share and yet is the only member not on board. Her dividends from the company alone is so gigantic that if converted, it's worth $2,000 in the pocket of every single Walmart employee worldwide. She is America's richest art collector and holds possession of $500 million worth of art. Over the past eight years, she's built a 200,000 square foot museum, i.e. the size of three football fields from scratch in the Ozarks. Alice holds the world's biggest horse ranch, Walton's Rocking W Ranch, encompassing over 1,435 acres, 10 times the size of Vatican City, until she sold it to focus on other priorities, which took her 730 days, that's two years, and a significant price reduction. Rob Walton, the eldest of all, is the chairman of Walmart and has a net worth of $48.2 billion making him the 15th richest person in the world. He now sits on the board of Conservation International. John Walton was a director and an ardent pilot until his death in a 2005 plane crash, which he himself was flying. At number 14 in the Forbes list of world's richest is his third son, Jim Walton, chairman of Arvest Bank, who holds $48.4 billion of net worth. Two daughters of Sam's brother, Bud Walton, Nancy Laurie and Ann Kroenke, hold smaller shares in the company. After the September 11th attacks, the family has reportedly built a giant bunker in Bentonville, Arkansas. The luxurious space is supposedly equipped with satellite communications, security guards, and a heliport. But even abundance of wealth needs structured team to which the Waltons have shown that theirs is the best. But then, they are just another popular and happy family, eating cookies and rejoicing their life super lavishly. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to click and subscribe. We have lots more to tell you.